Welcome to the uh, little demonstration we're going to give on uh, cam locks today. So cam locks, here's an example of a cam lock here, that's generally made up of two pieces. Uh, you'll notice there's a male piece here and a female. Um, the male piece has a groove and the female, the female version has some uh, arms on here which actually have cams inside. And as you put the two together and you bring those arms back, so they actually lock into place. So that's the idea behind cam locks. This range here is, is what we call polypropylene, black polypropylene range. You can get them in aluminium and you can, can get them in, in, uh, in uh, nylon as well. And that's typically a, a yellow in colour. The application we've got today is to fit them to hose and that's where they're most commonly used. The idea is to be able to fit a hose to a pump and readily disconnect it, perhaps even join two hoses together. They're conveniently numbered here or, or lettered if you like. So we have an A, B, C, D, E, F, um, this one known as a dust cap DC and a DP dust plug. So they're the eight configurations available in quite a number of sizes, half inch right up to four inch and in some cases in aluminium even up to, uh, to six inch. The application we've got today is we want to be able to fit a Filmac blue handle ball valve that you've seen uh, before. We want to fit that to a pump so we have some control. I'll be using the B uh, today to, to join these two together and we'll be using some hose here so I'm going to make use of this E fitting. So we can start with the E-fitting you like. You will need to clamp them, so it's important to slip a clamp onto your, onto your hose. You'll see they're a nice tail full of barbs, so we're just going to push that in like that. Now you may need to use some persuasion, obviously you can see I'm only a little bloke, so, but I think we'll get that most of the way. And if you need to, do something that's soft, like a handle of a mallet, and just uh, give that a bit of a tap to get that the whole way in, quite straightforward. We'll make sure we fit uh, get this nice and tight, we don't want that blowing off, so just a question of doing the clamp up like that. Terrific, that's nice and nice and firm there. Okay, next thing we've chosen, to, as I said, we're going to be fitting this, uh, this B configuration, so we'll need some thread tape. You've seen me do that before, quite straightforward. Remember, you've always got to get it the right way around, so this is the way we'll do it. Me being a right-hander here, make sure you hold that nice and tight, get it started bring it around, probably a little bit difficult with these cams in the way, there we are, I've got full control. I've said before, look, it will depend on the fitting you're using, but typically it's around about that six turns, possibly a little bit less if you're using pink plumber's tape, but there we are, we've got that round, that, that looks pretty good. If you're unsure, you can always do a bit of a dry fit first, so that's in place. I've got my uh, Filmac blue handle ball valve, yep, I can feel that's already going nice and tight as I put the two together, so we'll get a nice seal from that apply a bit of strength. Now you'll notice there what I've done. These two arms, I've made sure they're not going to interfere with the handle there, so they're ready to go. These two, these two will, uh, they'll go together like that. What we'll do is we'll now uh, walk over, we'll fit this to the, uh, uh, the pump itself, I'll show you how to do that, and then we'll interconnect these two and we'll have water and we can run this hose and do whatever we need to do. So there we go. Probably to just finish off with saying, and we'll show you how to do it in a moment, when these arms are tightened up, you can actually lock them here. We have some locking pins, so if you're worried that something's going to come along, some children maybe, or some animals, and, and open them up, we can put these locking pins in. So we'll show you how to do those later, but, but that just gives you an idea of cam locks. Very straightforward. We'll head over to the pump and we'll finish the installation. Okay, well here I am, stuck in the pump shed. Lucky me, lucky I'm in a small bloke. Anyhow, we've taken the tap or the, uh, the valve off here, and we're just going to put the Filmac one on there that I spoke about earlier. Just remembering, because there was old daggy tape on here, I've cleaned that up and put some fresh tape on there to make sure we get a nice seal. Um, let's just get that started. Avoid cross-threading. It is always a, a good thing. There we are. All fingers and thumbs. Finally got it working. So we'll get that on. Just about got enough clearance. That's nice and tight. Okay. Terrific turn that off. So that's on. We've already got the fitting there we had earlier. So what we do here is we just make sure these cam locks themselves are open. Bring this mail up and then we're simply pulling it back. Pull one back. Pull the second one back. Try and avoid getting the rings in the way. Sorry. Let's just get that out of the way. Pull them back like that. There we are. That is done. Now remember I spoke about these pins earlier. So if you want for security it's simply a question of Putting those down, one on that side, one on the other side, and terrific, 
um, we can now turn that tap on and do whatever we like. In reverse, we want to pull this uh, pull this apart. As I said, we've uh, simply removed our pins. We've got a couple of uh, grip rings here. Nice and easy to remove, there we go. Now, if we're not gonna be using this for a while, opportunity, this is a dust plug. Pop the plug in and fit that. That's great, no dirt can get in that, can't damage our ball valve. And the other one we've got here is a dust plug and it fits in exactly the same way. Onto the end of there, pull it around like that. Can be a bit tight at times, I need more muscles. There we go. So if that's not gonna be used for a while or we're gonna be dragging it potentially through some mud or dirt, that is now fully protected. So a really, really good idea and definitely worthwhile considering.